Unfortunately, the vast majority of retirees don't know about this important technique until it's almost too late for them, until they file their first tax return as a retiree and they say, oh no, what have I done? I wish I had known this. I don't want that to happen to you. So let's go for a walk and I'll share with you what, what this technique is. Uh, so when you retire, you go from, from having income coming in to, to meet your cash flow needs to basically living off of your retirement savings. And the structure and, and the format that, that your money is in, how your money is saved matters. $100,000 in a bank account that you can withdraw is, is gonna impact you much differently than $100,000 in, in a regular IRA or a regular 401k. So I, I talk about three buckets, and this is the technique, is having three buckets, and the three buckets high level is tax me as I go, which is, is your bank account, basically you pay, you pay taxes on it every year. Uh, the second bucket is don't tax me now, but tax me later bucket. And that's your traditional 401ks, your traditional IRAs. Uh, you get a tax break when you put your money in. It grows tax-free. But unfortunately, when you take your money out, Uncle Sam's like, hey, I didn't tax you before. And now it's literally uh, time to pay the tax man. So that's the second bucket. And the third bucket is, hey, Uncle Sam, tax me now but never tax me again. Let this account grow tax-free and let me withdraw the money tax-free. Um, so those are the three buckets. Truthfully, there should be a fourth bucket, but it, for most people, it tends to be kind of small, uh, which is uh, uh, a give me a tax break today bucket and never tax me again after that. And if it's done right, um, you can. there is a bucket like that. It's called the health savings account. If you're interested, I'll, I'll link to the health savings video that I've done earlier. Uh, but for most of us, we should think about three buckets because it's where the majority of our assets are going to be in. Um, so again, the first bucket is the taxable account, the tax me as I go, which is your bank account. Because you're paying taxes as you go, as you withdraw money, you don't pay taxes on, on that money. So that's the first bucket. Before I go any further, I, I wanna share with you where I am. You probably saw at, at the beginning of the video, it said Utah Olympic Park. This is where the 2002 Olympics was held. And so think about this video as you know the technique to, to go from bronze to silver to gold. I want you to have a gold retirement. Okay, let's jump into the, the second bucket. The second bucket is a, don't tax me now, don't tax me as it grows, but tax me when I take the money out, right? And if it was called that instead of IRA and 401, traditional 401k, people would, people, just about everybody that retires knows about this, uh, would know about it if it was called that, but unfortunately that's not the name. And maybe we should write our, our politician and suggest that they change the name. Uh, so that's the second bucket. And you want to have money in all three or all four of these buckets. And the third bucket is, hey, tax me now, but never tax me again, which is your traditional Roth IRA and your, I'm, I'm sorry, I should have just called it a Roth IRA and a Roth 401k. So those are the three main buckets. And the reason it's so important is if you have these three buckets and, and you know, it's, it's, it's an art to figure out how much money should be in the, each of these buckets. Now, I'm not an accountant uh, and I don't know your situation, so I can't tell you, you know, if you have a million dollars, how that money should be split up, but a, a fee-only financial advisor can help you with that. And if you, got, if you have a couple years until retirement, that could be money very well spent talking to a, a fee-only financial advisor to figure out how to split it up. But, but those are the three buckets and so I talked about the, 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 the jab, jab, and then you gotta be careful. Here comes this hook uh, that can knock you out. So it's not just for your income tax, uh, your federal income tax and your state income tax, uh, but there's other aspects, <clears throat> excuse me, that get taxed as, as uh, that you're gonna pay for your benefits based on your, your taxable income. Uh, and the two big ones for most people is gonna be social security, and Medicare. And again, these are areas, this is not financial advice. I don't know your situation, but I want to, I want to put this on your radar screen. So you look into it. Um, so social security above making a certain amount of money is going to be taxed. Uh, and, and so to, uh, at least a percentage of it is going to be taxed. Uh, so 
how your money is taxed as, as you take money out of these retirement accounts uh, is also going to have a, a, a second derivative effect, if you will, uh, a second impact, which is not only are you paying tax on that money, but it can increase the amount of Social Security. It can increase whether or not you pay tax on Social Security, and it can also impact your Medicare uh, your Medicare costs. So most people know, uh, again, I'm not a Medicare expert. This is just to put it on your radar screen and, and to look it up. Um, but Medicare Part A, how much you pay for that in monthly premiums is really driven by how many quarters that you worked. So Medicare Part A, if, you, if, you, if you've worked 40 quarters and the 40 qualifying quarters, um, and then uh, there is there is no cost. You've already you've pre. I should word it this way: you've prepaid the cost of, of of Medicare. Again, this is not tax advice. Look look all this up and talk to an accountant. But in general, uh, but Medicare Part B, how much you pay for that is related to how much uh, what your taxable income is. So in an ideal world, you could drive your taxable income down to zero if all of your money was in a, uh, a Roth 401k or a Roth IRA. Uh, and I wish it was this simple to just have your money in there, but it's not that simple. You do want money in all, in all three buckets for a variety of reasons uh, to optimize your tax. But if all your money was in a Roth IRA as you took it out under current tax laws, um, you would you would have no taxable income uh, to be taxed against your Social Security, um, and and also your Medicare Part B premium, uh, and and that can get expensive. Now th this is for people that make a lot of money, but uh, it can be five hundred and sixty dollars a month for people that have a, a high taxable income. So these three buckets do matter. How much you have in each bucket matters. I I, I shared that I need to know your situation in order to have any idea as to how much you should have in the various buckets. Um, but let me give you an example of why you might want to do that, right? Tax brackets are, are, are zero, essentially, uh, when you don't have much taxable income. And then as you get more taxable income, the tax the federal tax rate is very, very low. So if you had all of your money in, in a Roth uh, IRA or a Roth 401k, then you would, you would lose out on the advantage of these low tax breaks and and you could have gotten your money out tax-free. I'm sorry, you could have gotten a tax break when you put your money into these traditional IRAs, the traditional 401k. So it makes sense to have some money in each bucket. How much in each bucket is, is an individual situation. Uh, it doesn't cost that much money to have a fee-only financial advisor run the numbers for you. A fee-only financial advisor is a fiduciary to you 100% of the time, which is why you hear me harp on, on fee-only. So uh, it does make sense to research it. Uh, you can probably do the research and, and come up with some basics on your own. But, you know, I'm, I'm skewed, obviously, and I, and I think it makes sense to have a fee-only financial advisor help you out. Uh, if you like this video, I encourage you to watch this video over here, which talks about why you should consider retiring as five reasons to retire as soon as you can. So I hope you find it helpful. If you did find this video helpful, as the kids say, thumbs for likes, subs for love. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. Leave me a comment. And until, I'm, until next time, I'm a soul encouraging you to take full advantage of the youth of your senior years. Remember, you're only young once. Let's use our time wisely. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.